opportunity that you have given us, all of us, to be in this holy place, to come and meet you. We pray, Father, that you speak to our minds and our spirits this morning. How we pray, God, that the Holy Spirit, who is our helper, will help us in this hour. And also reveal to us the hidden mysteries of your word. We are your children and we have so many needs. And Lord, because you know all of us by our names, you know our needs, you know our problems. We pray, God, that you meet us individually at the point of our needs. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Have your seats in the name of Jesus. Praise be to God. God is good and all the time. Amen. My name is Stephen, as our uh, elders said. I am born again. Jesus Christ is my Lord and is my Savior. I received greetings from my family. I didn't come with them, my wife and my son. And uh, they have said that I say hi to you, Karatina. And I hope that you have received the greetings. Amen. Amen. I'm so happy to be uh, in this uh, pulpit uh, to bring the message of the Lord. We have read from the book of uh, uh, Matthew, chapter 9, verse 18 to 22, and uh, Psalms. Psalms. Have you put that in your screen? Okay, okay. In the book of Psalms, and uh, to be... Uh, to be Brief, I want, to talk, I want us to talk about faith. Faith is a message that we have today. Faith. And the Lord wants to talk to us about faith this morning. <clears throat> Glory to God. Praise be to God. Hallelujah. We have read from the book of Matthew, chapter 9, verse 18, 22, about a woman who was sick. And uh, she heard that Jesus was in the town. And she decided to go and to break the protocols because she was bleeding. The Bible says that she was suffering from a hemorrhage. It was a condition, a bleeding condition for 12 years. And she broke the protocols and she went to Jesus. And she knew what she wanted. She had tried so many things. She had tried doctors. She had used all her money. And uh, she could not get the healing she wanted. But uh, we read in the book of Matthew chapter 9 that she decided to go to Jesus. And she told, she said to herself, if I only touch his garment, I shall be made well. Praise be to God. And if you read verse 18, the Bible says that while he was thus speaking to them, behold, a ruler came and knelt before him, saying, My daughter has just died, but come and lay your hand on her, and she will live. If you go to verse 23, we didn't read today, the Bible records that when Jesus came to the ruler's house, where the daughter has died, had died, and she saw the flute players and the crowd making a tumult. He said, depart, for the girl is not dead, but sleeping. And they laughed at him. And you know, Jesus, you know, uh, spoke to the girl and she rose from the dead. Today, we want us to talk about faith in God. This is a woman who was sick. A condition that was, uh, you know, a condition that was so bad that she could not even go to the crowd. A condition that was holding her back. But she decided that the day has come to go to the Lord because she had faith in him. You know, what is faith to define this word? Faith, according to the word, according to the Bible, and according to scholars, they say faith is the confidence that what we hope for will actually happen. Actually, you can find that in the book of Hebrew, chapter 11, verse 1. It is a confidence that what we hope for will actually happen. It gives us assurance about things 
we cannot see. So faith in God is confidence or trust in God Almighty. You have confidence in him. This woman had confidence in God. She knew now that she had come to an end. She knew that, that no one can, could help her that time. And she decided now to go to Jesus. This is a man who is a ruler. His daughter has died. He is at the point, you know, amefika muisho. Anasema sasa wacha niende kwa mungu kwa mana sasa. I have faith in him. It is not possible for one who is dead to, you know, to arise again. But in God, this guy believed in God and said, I will go to Jesus and tell him my daughter is dead because I believe in him. I have confidence. I have hope that he will talk to my daughter. He will, you know, resurrect my daughter. I want to teach you something today, this morning. The beginning, the beginning point of faith, brethren, is believing is believing in God's character. Praise be to God. You must believe in God's character. He is who he says he is. If he says that he is the life and his resurrection, you must believe that he is the life and the resurrection. And this, this woman and this ruler believe that Jesus is the life and his resurrection. And they knew because they had seen, they had heard him, they had been told about him that Jesus is a miracle worker. So the beginning point of faith is believing in his character. Do you know this God? Because you cannot have faith in someone you don't know. Do you believe in his character? Let me mention some few characters that would, uh, that would uh, you know, push us more closer to God as we, as, we, uh, as, we, as we learn him, as we learn about him this morning. God says that he is infinite. He is self-existing without origin. Paul, in the book of Colossians chapter 1, verse 17, said, And he is before all things, and in him all things hold together. That means he is infinite. Psalmist, Psalms 147, verse 5, said, Great is our Lord, and abundant in power. Great is our Lord, and he and abundant in power. He is powerful. So one thing that God has, um, one character that God has is he is powerful. He is powerful. Another version says that he, his power is absolute. His understanding is beyond measure. So when you go to God, believe in him and have faith in him because one, he is powerful. He is infinite. You don't need to go to a witch doctor. God has your answers. Number two, we say that God is immutable. He never changes. He never changes. We must have faith in this God because he never changes. And this woman, this ruler, knew very much that God will never change. Kama aliokoa, ataokoa. Kama alifufua, atafufua. Kama aliponya, ataponya. Praise be to God. He never changes. He is immutable. Malachi chapter 3 verse 6 says, I, the Lord, do not change. Do not change. You can change, my brother. You can change your sister. You can even transform yourself like a chameleon. Unajibadilisha. Unajua we are living in a times where people are changing themselves. Eh, wanakuwa wengine Sunday, lakini Friday ukiwaona si wale walikuwa Sunday. Hallelujah. You meet a guy somewhere in this town Friday, unashido kama niye uliona Sunday. Because people change. But I want to say this morning, categorically, that God will never change. You may change and do things, but God will remain the same. He was and he is and he will remain the same. In the time of Moses, in the time of Abraham, in the time of Elijah, even today he is the same God. He is the same God who let's pour with the fire. He is this God. He will never change. He, ch he changes not. Malachi chapter 3 verse 6 says, I the Lord do not change. So you, the descendants of Jacob, are not destroyed. God's character never changes. His plans do not change. His promises do not change. Hallelujah. You know, this ought to be our source of our joy, source of our joy, Christians. If you know that you have a God who never changes, then you ought to be very happy. Because your husband may change. 
Akwambia titawe dedaga. Praise be to God. Hallelujah. Your boss may change. Kwambia wewe si kama wewe nataka. Go home. I will employ another person. My friend, your wife can tell you titawe dedaga. But the Lord will never tell you that. Praise be to God. Alikuumba na kusudi. He will never change. Anakubeba kama mtoto wake. He will never change. Even even if people, you know, forsake you, all of them, you are, you remain alone. God will stand with you. Praise be to God. He will never change. He is our God is dependable. Praise be to God. He is dependable. He will never change. Trust him with your job. Trust him with your family. Trust him with your finances. Trust him in this journey. He will never change. Have faith in him. Tell your neighbor have faith in God. He is dependable. Praise be to God. Amen. Even when you die, people will be crying. They will never go with you in the grave. But Jesus and the Holy Spirit will never leave you. Praise be to God. Even when your body will have no soul, God is dependable. Even when you are not in this world, he will remain the same. Number three, we have faith in God because he has, a, he has a very, another very good character. He is omnipotent, meaning that he is all-powerful. Praise be to God. Hata wanajeshi wakikuja mara, wakikuja na, na nabagapi. Hata wakikuja wakikuwa wamevaa nini. Even, even if your enemies come from all sides, we have a powerful God. Praise be to God. Powerful. Psalms 33 verse 6 says, by the word, Psalms 33 verse 6. I think I'm teaching you cannot somewhere. Psalms 33 verse 6. By the word of the Lord, the heavens were made. By the breath of his mouth, all the stars were born. By the word of the Lord. When he speaks, he creates. Praise be to God. Anaongea, mambo inafanyika. He is powerful. That's why we need to have faith in him. And this woman who had hemorrhage, he knew that Jesus is powerful. He knew that by touching the garment of Jesus, things will never be the same. Praise be to God. Because God is powerful. God is able to do all that he desires to do. Nothing and no one can prevent him from executing his plans. He is powerful. Psalm 24 verse 8, the Bible says, God is strong and mighty. Tell your neighbor, God is strong and mighty. Mwambie tu, kwa maana, anaza kuwa kuna malipengine anada kuchukua kutafuta nguvu. Mwambie, God is strong and mighty. Praise be to God. God is strong. Hata ukienda wapi, hauta wai pata nguvu kama za mungu. I love this God. Praise be to God. Because even me personally, what he has done in my life, I, I can attest that God is powerful. Praise be to God. Not, I'm not just reading the Bible. I'm also experiencing his power in my life. Praise be to God. There are some things that happen in my life. I see God. And I declare openly that this surely is God. Praise be to God. The way I see my family studying, I see this is God. The way I see myself serving the Lord since I was a young man in youth. I, I was ordained as an elder when I was 25 years old. I just see the hand of God in my life. Praise be to God. He has fought my battles. Praise be to God. I have gone through hell sometimes, through fire. But the Lord has fought my battles. Hey, <laughs> Ajoy. Praise be to God. God is strong. Kama ulikuwa na mabo ingine, ulikuwa mejiwekea. Tamidaiga. Eh? Tuvitutungine. Iyo ni bure. The only power that will take you to the next level is the power of God. Praise be to God. Amen. Have faith in Him. Amen. I don't know. I, 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 maybe you are in a condition, in a scenario, in a situation, you feel like God is not at work. But I want to assure you that He is at work. He is, at, he is in the throne. God is watching. He is at work. He has plans for you. He is powerful. And when He executes His plans, even your enemies will testify. That God, God is on your side. Praise be to God. Amen. Why do we have faith in God? Because he has another character. That he is omniscient. He is all-knowing. Anajua kila kitu. Anajua lizaliwa wapi. Utakuwa wapi leo. Utakuwa wapi kesho. Even he knows 20 years to come. Where you will be. He is all-knowing. Have faith in him. Hakuna muta naza kuambia. Wana magiko wa magu wakoma kwele ya temaleshi iria. Wajoku narugina wanasama watu mikono. Wana kuambia ati. 
ati wewe unakuru ati wewe mambo yako imeharibiwa na 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 mzazi ama ama muiru eh? mambo yako imeharibiwa na sister yako eh anakuambia 5 years to come utakuwa wapi hiyo ni uongo the only person who knows your tomorrow and all knowing is god by the way that's why i have faith in him because i know that he knows where i will be tomorrow praise be to god that's why i believe in him because he knows where i will be 10 years to come praise be to god because he knows where my son will be 20 years to come praise be to god i have faith in him i have faith in him so much hamwezi nitoa hapo praise be to god because he knows he is omnipresent he is everywhere hata wakati unakunywa pombe anakuona praise be to god amen unajua kuna watu wengine wanakulaga ya the sade wanafurahisha reverend akifugua mdomo hapa na mkate na divei ukimkata ukimpata wakati wa friday ukimkata ukimpata pale kwa firirida you, you, you not you know you, you, you cannot you know you, you cannot understand you know some people think that god is in the church praise be to god at asa ukienda huko kwa kashugua he will not see you see there is a man who died in majego hapa nyeri ana pcmf kwaja pcmf pcmf alikufia kwa kashugua wakati tu ameenda kwa kashugua roho ikasimama haikusimamia kanisani praise be to god Eh, na sasa ubaya ni kwamba ukikufa lazima utolewe. <laughs> Bora asiwe sana. Huwezi jitoa. So many many had to go there and, and remove the body wa PCMF. Sasa walijaribu wali kuiba akini ikakataa kutoka kwa maana alikuwa ameitwa nani huyu na nani huko. Si si mugu alikuwa amemuita. Praise be to God. Na wajua PCA nayo ni nzuri. Tuliambiwa tuvae makoti lakini tulivaa chigo upada. Praise be to God. <laughs> Because you see now the guy had died in the wrong place. Amen. So you go to Gashugwa and you know that God is seeing you my friend. He is everywhere. Amen. Go and drink beer and come on Sunday holy. God is seeing you. Amen. Yes, leave your family and have uh, you know uh, uh, affairs. God is seeing you. Come here and praise and cry. And some and you are going somewhere on Friday during the Mario naigia na nyuma hivi. Eh? You know God is seeing all those things. Yes. Amen. God is seeing all those things. Hata 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 you know there are so many things that hata ukiua na na kuna evidence. God is so it. Praise be to God. So he is that's why I have faith in him. I, I don't joke with God. Praise be to God because hata saa hii ako hapa. Praise be to God. And he knows your needs. He know. God is faithful my friends. You you can you can decide to be faithless but God is faithful. Amen. He cannot deny himself. The Bible say, if you are faithless, God remains faithful. God is good. God is good. That is his character. And we also say we always say God is good all the time. All the time. You know, people say and they don't believe it. God is good. He, that is his character. How faith in him because he is good. Even when you are sick, he is good. Praise be to God. God is merciful. God is loving. God is holy. That is the beginning point of faith. The end point of faith that is the beginning the end point of faith is believing in his promises praise be to god the beginning the beginning point is believing in in his character the end point of faith is believing in god's promises he will do what he says <laughs> amen when he says he will heal you he will heal you praise be to god when he says that i am jehovah rafa He say that I am a healer. No condition is too big for me. Praise be to God. This woman was bleeding for 12 years. When he went to Jesus, he went to the healer. And the healer was executing his word. Praise be to God. Because he is a healer. He is he is a pro, you know one of the promises that God has given us. Ukisoma Isaiah 53 verse 4:5. Mbibi nasema, Yesu alipigwa mijeredi kwa sababu kwa ajili ya dhabi zetu tukapokea uponyaji kupitia ile mijeredi praise be to god so one of the promises ni kwamba out of the stripes that jesus received we receive healing praise be to god so that is a promise and he is a promise keeper so when he says that he will heal you whether you have cancer whether you have blood pressure whether you have diabetes whether you have corona whether you have a condition God is a healer. Praise be to God. 
No one can change that. You just need to believe. Tell your neighbor, just believe. Amen? This ruler is going to Jesus and he's telling Jesus, my daughter is dead. Can you imagine? Anamwabia kwa nini? Amwabi bario kametea bario ipangwe. Anamwabia kuja umfufue. Praise be to God. Because he says, I am the life, I am the resurrection. That is a promise. Praise be to God. So the end point of faith is believing in God's promises. He will do what he says. When he says that your enemies will fight you, but they will be defeated, hey, hallelujah. That is a promise. Anakwabia utakuwa kwa vita, lakini utashinda. That is a promise. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 7, the Bible says, The Lord will cause your enemies who rise against you to be defeated before you. They shall come out against you one way, hallelujah, and free before you seven, seven ways. Do you believe that? Do you believe that? Do you have faith in that statement? That you'll be in battles, that you'll be in fightings, that enemies will fight you. They will come to you in one way, but the Lord will fight them before you in your presence, and they will flee in seven ways. Amen. Praise be to God. Kama mini kwa dani ya mungu, ukijaribu kunipiga, utakuja na jia moja, ukienda, itakuwa jia sa? Jia saba. Praise be to God. Amen? Do you believe that? Watu wengine wakona mastresa hapa, watu wengine wakona depression, na blood depression, na asomak ulcers, kwa maana vita imekua ngumu. Na wamekataa kuwa mini, hiri neno. I want you to believe this morning, that whichever and whatever you are going through, God has a word for you. The only, thing that is, the only thing that is lacking between you and your miracle, the only thing that is there between you and your miracle is that unbelief in your heart. Praise be to God. That doubt in your heart. Amen? They will come in one way. Hakuna silaha yeyote Iliotumwa kinyume chetu itakayo faulu. Isaiah 54 verse 17. No weapon that is fashioned against me will prevail. Praise be to God. It, it means weapons are there. You will never stop the weapons to come. But there is a promise that they will not prevail. Praise be to God. Hakuna siraha yote. Amen? Do you believe that? Do you believe that? God has said, even, Psalm 23 verse 4, even when I walk through the darkest valley, I will not be afraid, for you are close beside me. You are rod and your staff protect and comfort me. Do you believe that? That when you walk through the darkest valley, people are dying because they are walking in dark valleys. But the Lord is saying, you are not there permanently. You are just walking through. Praise be to God. The Bible says that he is beside you. Have faith in him. Some people are even committing suicide because they are in darkest valleys. Some people are get, divorcing their, their spouses because they are in darkest valleys. Some people are even going back to, to pubs and drinking beer because they are in darkest valleys. Some people are even smoking because they are in darkest valleys. Because they are in darkest valley. But the Lord is saying that you are just walking in the valley. It is not there permanent. Just believe in him that he is going to take you through. Because he has a rod and a staff to protect and to comfort you. Praise be to God. Amen. Do you believe that? Ask your neighbor, do you believe all this? Because it's a, it's a matter of believing now. Praise be to God. Do you believe all this or you're just reading the Bible? For the sake of reading, do you believe all this? God has promised to cast. But, but, by the way, let me not just impress you this morning. Let me also caution you as a church. Because God has also promised us that he will cast us when we don't obey his commandments. Praise be to God. Yes, he has promised. Go to Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 15. He is saying so many things that if you don't obey my commandments, these curses will follow you. Praise be to God. Anasema mama wengi sana, utakuwa unalima haupati kitu. Unakibia, 
Unakibizo na adui. <laughs> Praise be to God kila wakati. All these curses ziko hapo. So, usione kama Mungu anasema tu eh, mambo mazuri. You just go and you know joke with these commandments. Don't you know don't commit that do not commit that tare una commit that tare. Do not commit fornication you are there. Do not steal you are stealing. My friend. Hey. All these curses are, are going to follow you. Go and lead there. Yeah, by then he promise na itakuja. If you don't obey the commandments. Praise be to God. I have faith in that. I have faith in that that if you don't obey God hiyo mambo ita. Na sita sema ati nimerogwa. Nitakuja kujua kwamba Mungu ni mimi nimekasirisha. That's why they are following me because I believe in this word. Nikikataa kufanya itanipata. Praise be to God. I have faith in God. That's why I'm very careful. God has promised us that if we don't believe in Christ and accept him as our savior we will not go to heaven. That is another promise. Where am I? The early point of faith is believing in God's promises. Don't get lost. The early point of faith is believing in his God in God's promises. What else has he promised? He has promised us that if you don't believe in Jesus Christ you never go to heaven. Praise be to God. He says that John 14 verse 6 the bible say he told Jesus Jesus told Jesus I am the way I am the truth and the life no one comes to the father but by me that is a promise so if you don't come to if you don't accept Jesus as your personal savior my friend you will never see heaven amen i have faith in Jesus because i want to see god i want to go there and see abraham and talk to him nimuulize maswali kadhaa praise be to god Niongee na Musa. Niongee na Nuhu. Praise be to God. I want to be there. And for me to be there, I must have Jesus. Praise be to God. So, usikae hapo na ugwana, ati mimi nitaokoka sijui nini. Eh? Kuna wengine wanaokoka wakati hata meno imetoka. Na wako ila muhujia ko hoera. Ya maeno 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 maumire mothe. Sema na dada Jesu, Jesu. Wadogo lakini akuwa Jesu wega. Hmm? You know, hata wewe zipewa kiti ya deacon. You know you need you, you need Jesus when you are when you are young praise be to god eh toka kugia muhujia atoe da Jesus ginya ginya maitho matirona eh oh 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 you you need you need to to, to come to Jesus uh, ali praise be to when you are when you have the voice bass wa joy praise be to when you can sing tenor when you can sing alto when you can sing soprano when you can play piano like that guy very well and drumist and the guitar Praise be to God. So you need Jesus. And it is a promise. Not only in heaven to enjoy salvation in this world. Praise be to God. Amen. It is a promise. I have faith in Jesus. Tell your neighbor, have faith in Jesus. If you don't have faith in Jesus, you never see heaven. You must believe in him and accept him as your personal savior today. If it's not now. <laughs> Praise be to God. Hallelujah. God is good and all the time how faith works let me i don't know i want to conclude because i want to pray now i'm very time conscious i know i am time, i am time conscious let me talk about five benefits of faith i pray praise be to god five benefits of faith koni naongea mambo ya faith You know even the psalmist in the book of Psalms 34 where I've read verse 8 to 10 the psalmist said come 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 and taste this lord come kai mushame praise be to god kai mushame muigu ale mudaka you know david the psalmist who had faith in god paka ana invite watu come come praise be to god come and test he had faith in him five benefits of faith number one. When you have faith in God you receive strength. Praise be to God. One of the benefits of having faith in God is you are strong. You become strong. Joshua chapter 1 verse 9 the Bible says be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or discouraged for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Praise be to God. So you have faith in God. One of the benefits is you remain strong. Wherever you go even when you are in ups and downs in the valleys in the mountains you'll be strong 
Amen? You'll be strong. Isaiah 41 verse 10, the Bible says, Don't be afraid, for I am with you. Do not be discouraged, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. Praise be to God. You may not have someone to help you, but the Lord is saying, Isaiah 41 verse 10, I will strengthen you and help you. That's why I have faith in God, because this benefit, I enjoy it. I am strong. And you will be strong in the Lord. Praise be to God. That is the benefit. When you are feeling discouraged, have faith in God. You can defeat your enemy. Satan will never override the word of God. If, the, if our God says he will help you and strengthen you, he will do it. Satan can't do anything about it. Praise be to God. Have faith in God. Number two, faith gets us to act. Gets us to act. Inatuingiza kwa matendo. Praise be to God. Kama ukona imani, unaigia kwa action. Praise be to God. That's another benefit. Faith requires action. The Bible says in James 2 verse 14, James 2 verse 14, up to 16, what good is it, dear brothers and sisters, if you say you have faith, but don't show it by your action? Praise be to God. So, ukiwa na imani, unaingia kwa action. Faith gets me and you to act, for example, if you find a hungry man, he needs bread. Praise be to God. Praise be to God. You know, if you want to marry, <laughs> praise be to God. You know, if you have faith in God, unaomba, alafu unaoga. Praise be to God. Unavaa guo. Unavaa guo. Like you to suggest. Praise be. <laughs> like you to suggest you want somebody. Praise be to God. Guo, yaba ina, inaonyesha, you need someone. Unaona? Kama niwe jamaa, unavaa suti poa, na una, unanyolewa poa. Bwana ziku, eh, unatokea vizuri. Lakini si kuwaba, utawaba, mulimani, utawana tu suwara. <laughs> Praise be to God. Kuo kora wadho waliga na merodhi. But well, you have to come, now and, and swing into action because faith requires action another benefit praise be to god so you need to date you know prepare lines mistari alafu upange harusi hakuna mambo ya kuoba kuoba itakuwa lakini maobi bila ku date na bila mistari na bila marriage hautapata bona sivue sana so faith ni action praise be to god praise be to god and then, at the end of the day, to kule keki. Na ayo wede na mutu. Sawa, wede na mutu, mukiwa wawiri. Bwana asiwe sana, kwa mana kuna action. If you want to be rich, hawazi kaa kwa nyumba, ate mungu, ate, unaza kuwana, unaza kugugo, ate the, the, the richest people in the world. Unawajua una kwa majina. Oh, kuwane modheni. You need to go and work. Praise be to God. Unawajua, unawajua wata, Bill Gates, number one, number two, Dagota, Africa. Sasa, my friend, ata ukiwajua, you remain poor. Because now faith requires you to, to swing into action and work. Praise be to God. So, that's the benefit. Yakoba niko na imani, inaniabia nifanya kazi. Inaniabia nitafute job. Inaniabia nisave pesa. Inaniabia nitafute plot. Maguta maguta. Praise be to God. Eh. Hala nikihubiri hapa, nasina plot. Sitipa nitakuwa na shida. Praise be to God. So, maboy gine, eh, ni kutafuta. Action. Bwana asifiwe. If you want a certificate, if you want a degree, you must go to school. Haiwezi kuja uwekelewa kwa kichwa, ukiwa nyubani, unakunywa chai, unaheda kusoma. So, 2 Peter, chapter 5, verse 8, Bible says, In view of all this, make effort, 2 Peter, chapter 5 to 8. In view of all this, make effort to respond to God's promises. You respond. Make effort. Make effort. Kama ya ni bibi, unataka familia kwa ikaya poa? Usieda tu kukuomba. Fanya kama, je, kama, fanya kama Jezebel ama Delira. Praise be to God. Well, if you take Delira in the positive side, you see how you can make your family strong. Praise be to God. Eh. Kama Jamali ogea siri yake nguvi kwa kwanyuere, juya kulalia tu migu. Praise be to God. Ata ya ya jipange. Bwana asifuwe sana. Mabo higine, ata ya jipange. Jifanya Delira. Bwana asifuwe sana. Because some things, your family will remain stable when you sometimes you do some crazy things. Praise be to God. Eh, si kuwaba na kufasti na kusaika 
riba bota lima saika hiyo wote ni mazuri lakini also swing into action amen shetani anajua watu hawana imani shetani shetani amejua watu wanaoba sana lakini hawafanyi kitu that's why he is destroying the church another benefit when you have faith faith moves god to act praise be to god faith moves god to act that's another benefit imani tu ina trigger mungu ana act because of time you can not and go and read at your own free time matthew chapter 9 verse 23 matthew mark mark chapter 9 verse 23b jesus told this man who was there that anything is possible if a person believes everything is possible if a person believes everything and anything anything not some things any thing Matthew chapter 15 verse 28 Jesus told the woman who was see, this woman your faith is great your request is granted and her daughter was instantly healed so ukiwa na imani god acts god acts another benefit as I, as i conclude when you have faith these are very good benefit other people are encouraged praise be to god you encourage other people so the church become strong amen so as you hold on to your faith in the in the lord and not waver others we see and want what you have they you see and want what you have because you encourage them they will wonder why is your family still stable while other families are in turmoil they will come and ask you what do you do they will tell them that jesus holds together my family they wonder how is it that you always pray you never cease to pray prayer is your lifestyle worship is your lifestyle you tell them i have faith in god they will love what you are doing you encourage them they wonder you are sick you are in hospital ulikuwa na corona ulikuwa ka icu ukapona you ask you ask you what did you do you tell them god is a healer he healed me you they will be encouraged they will be encouraged amen and the last benefit is salvation 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 ephesians chapter 2 verse 8 and 9 the bible say ephesians chapter 2 verse 8 and 9 the bible say god saved you by his grace when you believed and you can take you cannot take credit for this it is a gift from god imani imefanya tuokoke it's a benefit john chapter 1 verse 12 the bible say john chapter 1 verse 12 the bible say but to all who believed him to all who have faith in him and accepted him he gave the right to become children of god praise be to god So ukiwa na imani utaokolewa I just want to have an invitation as I pray that if you are there you have never accepted Jesus Christ to be your lord and your savior I want to pray with you today If you are there you received Jesus sometimes years ago and you backslided God wants to restore that salvation You are there you are in a condition you are in a, you are in a situation you think that god is not at work you are not sure the lord wants to recommit himself to you he wants to manifest himself in your life just believe in him today just believe in him you know i always remind myself the word faith i always tell myself faith in a manisha fully anticipating it to happen faith f a i t h fully anticipating it to happen the woman went to jesus fully anticipating that she be healed praise be to god amen in the corner of galilee when people went to jesus wine was no longer there walikuwa wamekunywa yote they were fully anticipating that when they tell jesus there will be more wine and it will be better praise be to god 
fully anticipating that it will happen. That will be healed, that will be delivered, that will be raised, that will be promoted, that will be happy, that your family will be stable, fully anticipating that you will be rich, that you buy a plot, that you buy a car, that you graduate, that your children will read and study and graduate, that you get financial breakthrough, fully anticipating. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hallelujah. I want you to give you one minute. I want to give you one minute. I want you to open your heart to the Lord. I want you to have faith in Him because the point here is faith, believing in Him. Wonders will happen. Miracles are just next to you. The only thing that is holding you back is that unbelief. There is a guy who told Jesus, I believe in you. In Mark. Jesus, help me remove this unbelief in my heart. Because I believe. And I know you are a healer. But I have something in my heart. I have unbelief. I want the Lord to help you today. Iso ukonazo doubt, unbelief, mungu aziondoe. Praise be to God. I want you to come out of this church having faith in God, knowing that things will get better, knowing that you'll be healed, knowing that you'll be delivered, knowing that your family will remain stable, knowing that your job is secured, knowing that your education is secured. I want you to come out of this place. Go out knowing that you are born again, that Jesus is your Lord. Amen? I want to pray. And as we sing this short chorus, if you have a need, just come. I do a very short prayer for you, with you. And then God is going to bless us together in the name of Jesus. Then there is power, power, wonder-working power in the precious blood of the Lord Jesus. There is power, power, the precious blood of the Lord. Oh, the Lord is healing, healing, wonder-working, healing in the precious blood of the Lord Jesus. There is your hand as I pray, as I conclude. It's a sign of belief. It's a sign of faith. Wherever you are, you may not come in front because of time and because of uh, protocols. Just raise your hand wherever you are and believe God is going to do it for you. Mm. Believe, believe, believe in this God. Believe in this God. There is power. Power. Wonder. in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We believe in your word. We believe in you, God. You are immutable. Lord, you are omnipresent. Lord, you know everything. God, you are faithful. God, you are good. You are faithful. You are merciful. Lord, we come before you. We commit ourselves to you. Look at your children, Lord. They have raised their hands as a sign of faith and belief. That God, you will meet them individually at the point of their needs. Some of them are raising their hands because they are sick. We believe in your power of healing. Heal them in the name of Jesus. Others are raising their hands because, God, their families are unstable. God, we believe that you are the God who, insti you inst God who instituted and ordained families. We pray that these families will be stable in the mighty name of Jesus. Others have raised their hands because they are going through financial constraints. Lord, we pray in the name of Jesus that they will experience 
immense financial breakthroughs in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Others are raising their hands because they are going through challenges in their businesses, challenges in their working places, challenges with their wives, with their husbands, challenges with their children, with their bosses. Father, in the name of Jesus, we believe in you that nothing is impossible with you. Nothing is impossible with you. You tell us that through our faith, we can move mountains. We speak to those mountains, the mountains of sicknesses, the mountains of deaths, the mountains of weeping, the mountains of death, the mountains of terminal illnesses. We speak to them and declare that they will move in the mighty name of Jesus. We believe in you, God. We believe that it will happen. We anticipate that miracles will happen in our lives. Bless us, Lord. Let us experience you in a mighty way. Wala baba inua mikono mungu na omba uafanyie miujiza. Wapate ushuhuda siku ya leo. Jumapili ingine wakuja na ushuhuda. Akoba mungu umetenda. Wala baba mungu wakona unbelief kwa roho zao. I pray God that you deal with that unbelief and help them to believe in you. We pray for this church, elders, deacons, members, children, youth. Bless all of them. Even those who have needs that are so secretive, they are in their heart. They cannot even speak them out. Lord, you know them. Cover them and deliver them and save them and bless them. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless you.